It's okay. Um, so, before starting, I, I wanted to say that uh, you want to be on a Shima clan uh, for the best, uh, no, the best effect from clans. Um, all your, uh, like the clan that you have right now is the clan that you have on all your files, okay? Uh, different files doesn't, don't have uh, different clans, they are shared by uh, every single one. So even if you unlock the, the clan after defeating Yorogumo, uh, you actually unlock it for every file uh, in every moment. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go over this. Skip the cutscene right there. And as you can see here, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just remove this. I'm gonna have to mute the the video because otherwise it's just going to be too too loud, and I'm going to be talking over myself. So yeah. So yeah. Right there, uh, you start the timer right as soon as you press X on that moment. This is RTA on PS4. Keep the cats in, keep the, uh, punch the wall three times, then you go to the gear, you know, to the fucking uh, box, equip the sword, and then you uh, three shot the, the guy on the back. You need to be close enough if you're far away. Is going to miss the third hit, and then you open the door and you, then you run, obviously. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, here you want to save. Uh, look closely at the key that I save right there. That's uh, because if I if I get hit right there, uh, if I have enough key, uh, I don't get staggered and I don't die right there. So yeah, it's really useful to you know maintain your key. Good enough. Yeah, you just run. You can manage your stamina however you want. Uh, as long as you don't, you know, do it uh, wrong. Like uh, you stop running more than you should. Okay, so here you save uh, around 30 key to get here uh, for running. And then as soon as you get that, you uh, go to the stairs, uh, open the door, and change the, the weapon to the axe pretty fast. And you, you know, go up the stairs. You open this, uh, I mean, you open this. Uh, you trigger the fight by standing on the middle. And then on the second, actually, let me let me go back a, a bit. And I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna unmute the the video so you can uh, hear the key sound uh, to be able to know where when he's going down. Right there. Come on, just oh come on. Right there. That uh, second sound after the first scream. That's the indicator. That tells you uh, when he's dropping down. As soon as you hear that, or even a bit sooner than that, uh, you can start swinging with your strong attack. Then you should be able to three shot him. If you're really, really lucky, you can get a. Uh... Okay, one moment. Come on. Let me go back. If you're really, really lucky, you can get a two shot. Uh... Like you can get the uh, axe strong enough to to shot uh, Derek, but uh, I wouldn't count on that. Uh, and the probabilities are really really slim. So let's continue. As soon as you skip the cutscene, uh, I here uh, here I messed up. But basically, what you want to do is you run straight to him, and as soon as you are on range, you start doing three uh, strong attacks. And on the third one, uh, I'm gonna stop right there. On the third one, you want to um, move your 
joystick in uh, in a manner where the the hit uh, looks like it's going to miss, but it's not going to, and you you know go backwards, and then you dash uh, backwards again. You make some space. He's going to uh, dash into you, and then you're going to uh, do two more hits, and then uh, finish the fight with activating the living weapon. Keep the cuts in as soon as the uh, screen changes. There's another scene that you have to skip right there, right here. I'm gonna try to be fast because I don't have um, much time. So yeah, and here uh, you want to start spamming X, so you skip that, and then here you want to select Kusarigama. Uh, I, I'm not going to stop uh, talk uh, to talk about uh, the weapons, but we're basically going to use Kusarigama at the start, sort mainly for a movement uh, between you know. Uh, for running sections or dashing sections actually and um, also the morning moon for the spiders and uh, crystals and then for everything else uh, we're going to use all source uh, with the EI the um, you know the sign of the cross uh, water sword and uh, and the parry mainly the parry we're going to use it twice in the run so yeah you select the Xergama Skip to text right there, and then here you press down once and uh, select the tool source. You can also select spear if you want to have more body, but there's a problem with that. Uh, there's one benef uh, okay. There's one main reason why would you why you would uh, pick a spear instead of tool source, and that's uh, you have more HP and you can survive uh, the fire uh, that we're going to find in like uh, less than a minute in, in the timer um, but the thing is, no, actually more than a minute, uh, around one minute and a half, yeah but the thing is that with that uh, it looks like the drop rate of the dual source and the quality of the dual source uh, in some parts is going to be worse uh, I did some runs, like uh, more than five runs, and all of them, you know, uh, selecting the spear, and in all of them, uh, I got a really bad uh, dual source drop rate. And on oh, Tani used it too, I, I never got uh, a change to Dark Spirit that I half of the times I get, or even more than half of the times I get uh, if I select dual source. So, yeah, I wouldn't recommend on that. You select dual source. Then you you know skip the the next stuff. You can just smash X here. Select Kato because it's a uh, really really strong spirit. Uh, we're going to use it for the most part of the run. We're going to use Kato, uh, Karajishi, and Zuzaku. Uh, Karajishi, we're going to use it for the most part of the of the end game, and uh, Zuzaku, we're all, only going to use it once uh, on Demon King Rebuild. Uh, in order to get to get rid of the, um, the door enemies uh, before the boss rush, so yeah. And then you select uh, OK, and then you don't want you want to stop machine X and press down and and say no to the tutorial because otherwise you're going to the tutorial, and that's really slow. <clears throat> so yeah, you skip this, press X. You will want to wait a bit here, otherwise you're going to uh, enter the menu and skip that. You get the Kusarigama, start running, and as soon as you get, uh, you know, really, really close to the zero key, you open the menu and you equip the Kusarigama. And then you start dashing. By the way, uh, when, when you're grabbing the Kusarigama, change uh, your stance to low stance, uh, so you don't have to do it later and lose more time. Mm. The main uh, form of movement uh, in this game, like the fastest one, is uh, low stance dashing, and uh, the fastest weapon with that is the, is the sword. So here you want to, um, you have two options right here, okay? You want to either um, 
do the, what I did here on my PB, like uh, knock him out with a high stance light attack with the Kusari Gamma, and then grab the key. Or you can just go straight and grab the key. It, the one that I did on my PB, it's like around, I don't know, two seconds slower, maybe. But it has a, like, you're basically going to not die. But if you do the other one, there's a high risk of dying. So I'd rather not reset all the time to this. I was doing it for the most part, uh, well, you know, a while ago. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Just the seconds. I mean, if you're going for super optimal, yeah, but I don't know. So you level up uh, to magic, like uh, to seven magic. You just um, you open the menu, learn skills, and you want to learn. Uh, let me actually make it lower, like uh, 0 0.5 maybe. I don't know. So you learn uh, the weakness right there. You need to first learn the invigorate and then weakness. Then you want to learn uh, here this one uh, that I just learned is water. And right here, it's a more Omnimagic skill, uh, I mean, capacity, yeah. And then as soon as you get that, uh, you want to get uh, the shuriken for the ninja. I was a bit slow right there. So let me go normal again. And then you're ready Jutsu, you're ready Shuriken, Water and Weakness. And then you put them uh, however you want to. This is my setup and I like to also make a, make it so that uh, I have Alexis always on when I select up. So I don't confuse. So yeah. And then I want to, like right there I like uh, going to equipment. So I have a slight chance of actually equipping uh, a better Kusar Gamma or a sword. Uh, when the, the mission's over, you have a really, really slim chance of doing it if you're really fast. But yeah. Right here, you want to stop uh, dashing as soon as you, uh, you know, go past the golem guy right there. Because uh, otherwise, you're going to get knocked over but by this spawn. And then right here, see where I am? You want to be. Uh, right there and then start dashing as soon as you're going to uh, hit the fire and you dash like forward just like that then you heal you dash again uh, if you don't time it properly you can get a double hit and also on the previous one and the reason why i do that setup is because if i don't do that setup uh, I get uh, hit th uh, three times with the fire and I die. If you have the spear, I like if you select the spear and you have more body, you are actually going to be able to survive that. But you know, uh, then you're going to regret it because uh, you're carrying bad uh, drop rates most of the time. So you want to dash, 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 buff with the water right here. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, that was a meme. He's not supposed to hit you right there. I don't know why he hit me. Like, I don't know, this game likes to meme a lot. But yeah, I was supposed to buff with water right here. And then, uh, and then use weakness as soon as you enter the fight. And then, you know, you're going to see what happens after the weakness. So yeah, I buff with water because I, I uh, like the game made me and I couldn't do it. Then you attack, uh, you know, you attack the head with a high stand slide attack, and then you go uh, to the to the back and do the same thing, and you repeat the, and repeat the process again, right there. Then you do it again, and this time he's going to run out of key, 
you can do more attacks. Uh, what you want to do is to hit the back, but I wasn't on the proper position. So yeah, basically that. Uh, you can also do um, to finish up uh, the fight. You can also do uh, uh, low stance uh, strong attacks. So here I tried to equip the Kusari Gamas that I just got. I think I fell. Oh no, I I, I got it. Yeah, yeah. So th that's that's the only way of doing it. Like you need to prepare the the menu in order to be fast enough. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long is this is going to take, but I'll try to be fast. I'll try to be fast. I know. Sorry for no the no audio on for the game. But the thing is that uh, I don't know like I'll be talking about uh, like on top of my own run, like uh, my own commentary on the run. So yeah, you want to just uh, smash X all the time here and then you go to this mission straight away. Here we're going to do a skip. I'm gonna try to stop the, you know, I'm gonna stop the the video right before I actually do the skip. Pretty sure, yeah, I I got it first try for sure. Because I remember I only died twice, and you know it wasn't here. So what? Oh, I didn't do the skip. Nice. <laughs> Interesting. Did I start? Do oh yeah, I started doing the skip uh, after. Uh, it's okay. Like uh, you can look uh, the skip uh, later. <laughs> There's a skip there that says like uh, twelve seconds, but it's uh, really risky and pretty precise. It's okay. It's okay. You might and you might want to just uh, do this at the start. That's what I did. I only did, uh, I started doing the escape recently because, you know, I felt like uh, I need to optimize a bit more. So, yeah, you get up the Hyotoko mask right there. Really important later on. Mm. Stop dashing here, otherwise, you're going to get knocked up, knocked out uh, for the, uh, with a bone right there. Drop down, dash twice, uh, wait a bit, and, uh, and then start dashing again. And get this, uh, get the shrine. Mm. You level up uh, one on body, one on spirit, and one on skill. Uh, then, as soon as you roll there, you want to learn the three first skills of the Kusarigama. Uh, the first one is actually global uh, for every weapon, and the other two are the Kusarigama buff, which uh, boosts your damage and lowers your. Uh, Guard, and the second one is the river. So yeah, you buff with the Kusari Gamma, uh, water, you enter the scene, skip, shuriken, run, river, don't deplete all the key, weakness, you want to just barely deplete, uh, like, uh, you know. So yeah, let me, let me go over uh, the fight again. So yeah. Here, you want the, the key to look just like that, just like that. Then you go back, weakness if you have enough enough space, and then you start uh, doing the the ripper again. She falls. You 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 can continue a bit more, and it's actually more optimal to continue a bit more. And then you want to uh, go to her back, and do the ripper again. Basically, uh, if you just barely, like, if you um, knock her down and then you go straight uh, to her back and start doing it again, uh, if you don't have, like, a, a better Kusariyama than the level 1 one, which you're probably going to, you're going to get sucked by, by her. Because uh, apparently uh, the way this works is if you're still doing the Reaper, she is never going to hit you uh, if you do that. So yeah, that finishes up the, the fight. There's uh, other ways of doing this fight, but uh, 
there are, you know, just methods. I got more Kuserigamas and stuff. You want to get uh, a dual sword in this fight or on the previous one? If you don't get any, uh, you have two options. Either go to the blacksmith and get a dual sword. And I say this for this route. Or you can also uh, go to the next mission. Um, you know, hope that you get a dual sword on on Noe. I didn't get any swords like uh, the regular sword, a katana. Uh, so I don't have uh, a faster form of movement. But uh, no matter what, you're always going to get uh, a sword at the end of uh, of this uh, mission. So yeah, you are not going to lose that much time. Uh, the most optimal way would be like to get one on Derek. I mean on Derek uh, on Miley Cyrus, which is uh, on Ryoki. But you know. Uh, as long as you you get one on Noe, uh, you don't lose that much time. Uh, if you don't get one on Noe, like or before Noe, you're going to lose around 10 seconds uh, or so uh, because of uh, the movement being slower with the other weapon. That's not the the sword. So you want to start dashing like normal here, and then you want to prepare uh, the menu right there on the shuriken because we're going to replace it then you get the moment talisman right there watch out for the jockey shouldn't be a problem but uh, I have that once there <laughs> so yeah just uh, dash manage your stamina stuff and hack the you don't want to go right next to that jockey because you're probably not going to die but you're probably going to, uh, like I had a really, really good uh, three splits on one run. Like I got a sub uh, 830 uh, Hino Emna without the fucking skip. So it could have been like a sub uh, 820. Um, and then I died to that jockey the first time that's ever happened. But you know, it's okay. So yeah, you want to open this. Uh, prepare your Kusarigama if you are using the sword. And you want to equip the moment talisman right there. Buff with uh, the Kuseri Gamma, the water. As soon as you uh, see no spawning, you do a weakness. Start walking a bit and then run. And then you do the uh, moment talisman in order to uh, apply fire on fire debuff on Noe. And then you start doing uh, high stance uh, light attacks, and you can finish up uh, finish off uh, Noe with uh, low stance uh, strong attacks, or you know uh, you can also just keep doing the, the same thing. I just like to to do that, and I don't know if it's faster or not. I think it is, but yeah. And then here you want to equip the match lock and stuff, or whatever you want to to do. Uh, and here I recommend you to equip some headgear, leg gear, and amulets. Because uh, the chest piece is what? Okay, I don't know why, but it was loading. The chest pieces and uh, uh, the arm guards and uh, and the legs are are going to be changed so there's not really uh, apart from you know pitch strats there's not really a reason to actually equip stuff uh right there so yeah you just want to dash uh, just follow the the same path that i do hmm <clears throat> Just dash through everything. <laughs> I 
Well, yeah, here, uh, let's get Pete at this uh, talking about, uh, you know, because he, he, he was throwing uh, Neo for some time. I think he did one run, and that's it. Yeah, uh, here you want to prepare uh, the skills uh, in order to go faster uh, in like a, less than half a minute. Or, you know, do other stuff that you haven't uh, had time to do. Uh, get the shrine and you level up uh, 10 spirit and 8 body. I mean, a eight skill. Sorry, sorry. So here, uh, you want to learn uh, dual source. So yeah, you want to talk to Ginchillo, and then uh, you know interact with the uh, with the object, you know, with the lamp stuff. And then you want to learn. Uh, let me go back. As soon as you're doing that, you want to learn uh, the um, what is it called? Um, Sign of the cross and then kick. There's actually like you could skip getting the kick, but the thing is that the kick might actually save you uh, because of the key damage. So I like doing it. But yeah, optimally, there's not really any reason to get the key. The kick for any percent. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, only missions with DLCs because that's different. In that one, you need the kick for later on. But yeah, I guess there's no reason to get it now. But so yeah, you want to just uh, follow the path that I did right there, dashing through everything. Here, I like to equip the uh, Hyodoko mask on the shortcuts. Then as soon as uh, the cat uh, talks, you know Ginchi is coming. You want to buff with the Kusarigama and then buff the with water the dual source. As soon as the fight starts, they're skipping the cutscene. You use the matchlock and headshot uh, Tachibana. Run to him, EI, go to her back, uh, to his back, final blow, and continue with the EIs. Uh, if he gets out of the EI, which he's uh, very likely to do, uh, you can, uh, depending. If he just gets out, you can just uh, do weakness and then continue. But if he starts attacking and you're uh, basically tanking damage, uh, just spam the living weapon uh, to survive it. Because otherwise you're probably going to die. Mm, and then you try to finish him off with the living weapon. A living weapon on dual source is not the best. But you know, it can save you. So yeah, uh, here you get a sword. Uh, you don't really need it if it's not the Namio Yogi Kanemitsu. Like you can get a business of owner or something. Like if you get any sword that's not the Namio Yogi Kanemitsu, you don't really have a reason to actually equip it because uh, we're going to equip another one that's stronger, uh, which is called the Raikiri that you get uh, right uh, when you exit the, the mission right here. But the thing is that uh, the Nami Yuji Kanemitsu is slightly stronger. At least most of the times, I think it is. Uh... Oh yeah, let's continue. Mm -hmm. She wrapped on this uh, yesterday. Because yesterday I was just doing... Uh... An actual tutorial run, but uh, like I can't uh, focus well enough. So yeah, you want to go to the dojo where the warrior novice for this route. Then this route, uh, for example, doesn't use the this dojo because he doesn't use uh, dual swords. So yeah, you get that. Uh, you use it, you go to the learn skills. Okay, let me let me activate the sound here because there's one thing that you want to look for or hear for. Okay, so right here, you're going to uh, hear the sound of a complete, uh, you know, that, that, that part of the tutorial is uh, completed, you know. And as soon as that ends, uh, you're going to uh, basically do what I do here. 
Excel. Like right there, I unequip the skill right as soon as uh, as the sound ends. If you do it uh, faster than that, uh, you're most likely going to uh, have to do it again because you did it too fast and it doesn't count. So yeah, I just uh, run here, ready the mid stems, light attacks, three light attacks right there. And then uh, he's supposed to attack you most of the times. And you just, you know, as uh, soon as he attacks, uh, you attack also and you're faster and you just three shot him with uh, the light attacks. It's okay. Then you switch to a low stance and start dashing to the end and go forward. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, another thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, you want to, when, when you finish the Tachibana uh, mission, uh, you want to uh, ready your uh, weapon that's equipped on the first slot because that's where the katana is going to be, like the wooden katana uh, or wooden sword is going to be on on the dojo mission. And if you're on the second slot, you're going to start with uh, empty hands instead of you know bare hands instead of the of the sword. So here you want to just, you know, uh, go to the shrine again, I mean to, to start the point again and uh, start that mission. I'm going to skip five seconds right there of waiting. Run, get the item, use it. Learn skills, learn that, far shot. Wait a bit for this to happen, and then you pray at the shrine. Uh, go right uh, twice, Reyutsu. Here you might actually not be on Omnium Magic, you might actually be on Ninjutsu. Depends on uh, where you die and where the last run died and all that stuff, or you know, before doing a reset or stuff, and then you basically start in one way or other which is the one that you're going to start with on on Oriyoki and that's going to change this it's really hard to keep track of it uh, I mean you could keep track of it I just don't really care like, I don't really pay attention to it so yeah you want to equip the fire shot you know ready the uh, fire shot and then as soon as you do that you press triangle in my case and then you write it on the first slot that you have uh, you wait a bit and then shoot and you one shot uh... one shot the... the thing and then you exit the mission I think I'm gonna have to stop the uh, for now because I'm I'm gonna actually get some water weather is bad so yeah uh, you want to go to items use the locks right there and then i didn't do it now but uh, you can also if you didn't get the uh, namio yugi kanemitsu you can uh, change the first weapon to to raikiri and that's going to, you know, be enough. You don't, want, you don't need to change the the sword after that. So let me let me stop the this one moment because I'm going to get some water. Be right back.
Okay, let's continue. So yeah, I just go to the next mission. Let me skip five seconds here. Hmm. So I just start dashing. Hmm. Dash all over the place. You shouldn't get uh, poisoned. Uh, you want to get this because. Uh, it has a travel amulet and also a roaring gun ammunition. You don't really care about the roaring gun, but it might help you. Um, so yeah, here you grab the ladder, switch to uh, dual source, run without dashing, uh, EI, get that, change to sword, get the key, uh, and you know start dashing. I I didn't do it properly right there, and then get the shrine. You want to level up all in magic. Uh, you want to either get uh, 10 or 11. It doesn't really matter. So here you want to get, uh, let me go back one moment. So you want to get uh, fire talismans and fire shot right there. Then you want to get uh, water stop talisman for the Omnibus fight. And uh, Wind Talisman for the upcoming fight, and uh, you know, one more, and then Carnage, and then you're done with uh, the, the magic. But you also have to get a Water Sword for the Dual Source. Uh, then you ready Jitsu, Wind, and Carnage, you uh, put them wherever you want to uh, put them, uh, and you know, keep going. Uh, stop right here, uh, just a little bit to actually not uh, just dash uh, on the on the bone wheel, not uh, the wheel monk, yeah, <laughs> fucking dark souls. And then you get the Hyotoko mask and rifle ammunition. Like you don't need the rifle ammunition that much. Like uh, you just need the Hyotoko mask. Although I guess I guess it's uh, yeah, it helps the rifle ammunition. But you want the Hyotoko mask. Then here, uh, what you want is, uh, apart from the Sacred Blush, uh, John Omnio Mage uh, Locks uh, also helps, but uh, you want the Sacred Rush, basically. Uh, it's going to help you on uh, Yamata no Orochi. So yeah, I just grab the ladder, start uh, dashing through the level until the end, right here. Change to Dual Sword, Buff of Wind, Carnage. Drop down, heal, skip the cutscene, weakness, block, wait for uh, the centipede to move. Yeah, I, there I messed up, but uh, you can still recover as you can see. I shouldn't get hit that right there, so I actually heal, but uh, that's really, really messy. But yeah, as you can see, even if uh, you didn't really get it, uh, that well, you can still do it. So basically, what happened there is uh, I apply a uh, wind. Uh, let me go back. Yeah, like at the moment I apply wind right there, I change to water, and then I continue. You can also do it the other way, but it's more uh, inconsistent. I think it's just a little bit faster, but it's more inconsistent. Okay, this strat is really, really consistent, uh, but if you do it that way, it's not like, I don't know, I, I guess I would have to test it again, but I, I think it's like, uh, you have a slight chance of also messing up uh, out of your control. So yeah, basically, uh, you just do that, what I did right there. Yo, Jessica, Neo, what's up? Uh, I don't have chat on screen because, uh, you know, I'm doing the, this, <laughs> but, uh, commenting over my uh, PB. So yeah, I got a dual sword, so obviously I equip it. Can skip, uh, well, actually, no reason to. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so here, 
you want to go to the shrine, level up, 8 body, 12 magic, yes, then Raijitsu, uh, change water to fire, change wind to water stop, change uh, fire shot, I mean equip fire shot and, and you know, on the slot that you have left. Running sick to work today. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting like uh, the weather is getting into me. Also, like really, really cold uh, lately. So yeah, you want to go over the when we also fight here. Die on my PV. Uh, it's a really RNG fight. Uh, It's based around basically getting uh, the laser attack. You don't get it, you're fucking screwed. But yeah, you talk to Fuku, you get the fire amulet and the flint. Especially the flint. <laughs> uh, you can kill this guy or you can just not do it. Uh, if you don't do it, you're going to get hit uh, when you try to do this. And uh, if you kill him... You're not going to get hit, but you lose a bit of time. It's your choice. Uh, like, you don't really lose that much time, so i just rather just kill him and avoid uh, having one less elixir for the fight. Um, so yeah, here you want to switch to dual swords and, you know, prepare your fire shots. As soon as the fight uh, starts, uh, you want to uh, dodge the first attack and fire shot the blob and the other one and then you want to go over here uh umia was is a really rng fight even uh right at the start uh, he can uh, just move uh, to the side straight away uh, there's a different strat for that i guess i'll do a separate uh, video about it but let me just go over the our strats uh, so here what you want is just to get the the cannon but I don't get it. Here, uh, if uh, the HP is not too low, you might want to go for Kyotoko Mask. But uh, here, I did too much damage after, uh, like before it. <laughs> so I actually didn't go for it to see if the soon as soon as oh yeah, I died here because of it. I I tried to buff. You shouldn't try that. <laughs> you can die just like that. So yeah, I didn't go for the Hyotoko Mask because as soon as he, he reaches uh, below 50% HP, he switches to second phase. Yeah, here let's get pitted. Uh, was telling me that he didn't want to do runs because of me also. I understand, but I mean, most of the times he's not uh, that bad. Uh, well, at least... Half of the times. <laughs> so yeah, I basically screw it, and then you can see here what I do when I get water RNG. I like it's actually faster, but it's really really sketchy. So yeah, uh, going to uh, kill the fire and uh, the first uh, blob like always. Here I miss the the cannon because uh, I wasn't fast enough. But yeah, basically the, uh, that attack that uh, he just did right there, it's basically free. Uh, you can deal some damage. Yeah, and there uh, I got the um, proper setup. Let's just say proper setup. Uh, you want to uh, the HP of him also to be at least uh, as it was right there or uh, even lower and you can actually uh, get a one cycle uh, but it also depends on RMG so there because I didn't get any dual source I started to equip in the Omnio set hmm let me skip five seconds or ten or fifteen okay mm hmm so here uh, the way of the Omnio Adept has been unlocked, so you go to the dojo and you do it. You get, uh, you know, to be able to use the sloth, uh, more, you know, equip more, sh uh, more stuff and, you know, magic things. 
Yeah, the masks are really strong against them, uh, against the uh, Umiwazu. Actually, let me stop one moment. Uh, you can actually get a third one uh, on that level. And it's uh, like, you know, after the, um, after the guy that uh, tries to attack you as soon as you uh, exit the corner, you go to the left and there's like a, a pillar that's fallen and uh, an object right there that you can grab. That's the Hyotoko mask. Uh, you don't, you shouldn't really need it, but you know it might actually help you with uh, if you have a really bad RNG. But the thing is that it's really sketchy and uh, it wastes time to get, so I don't do it. Mm. So yeah, here you want to switch the wooden sword to. The Kusarigama, buff the Kusarigama. By the way, I died here because I messed up. Uh, mid stands, uh, strong attacks, kipples. You know, it's really important to kipples, by the way, in this game. Uh, and then you want to just uh, murder this guy with water sword and then uh, light attacks right there. And here I tried to go for the sloth too, too fast. I should have waited a bit more. I think that I didn't get the sloth. So yeah, you can just learn from my mistakes. And here I should have not died, but uh, I, w I went to Ballsy and I died. Yeah, yeah, I remember like the blow level was really, really... Uh, yeah, I, I keep messing up on this, on this uh, mission. Yeah, I, I, I spent a lot of time on the blow level. I think I died uh, the most on that level, for sure. Because uh, I just I just kept dying to the fucking uh, water falling and other stuff. It, it's really annoying. It's really annoying, both the boss and the, and the level itself. So here I wait a bit more. You can see what I do. You want to do that. No water sword. Uh, you can actually um, stop the water sword a bit uh, sooner because you deal more damage at the end, and that might actually help you just clutch the ending. So and there, I actually get the. Uh, I don't know if I got the legs, but uh, you know I tried to get the legs also. You're supposed to get uh, the Omniset uh, right there like the most optimal way of getting it uh, or equipping it and here there's a long menu uh, you want to go to a shrine level up everything on magic you should have 16 you might have 15 but uh, you need uh, 16 use the on your mage uh, logs right there that I use and uh, right there I got a random slice and right here I got a morning moon for the sword uh, I got Sloth right there, here I get uh, Lightning, and here I get the Kekai right here, twice, and then I get uh, more Slots and uh, another Carnage. And then you go to Ready Jutsu, and equip the Fire, equip the Water, and equip Water Stop, and equip the Lightning, and equip Fire Shot, equip the Sloth, equip uh, the second Kekai and uh, the second Carnage, you ready them. And then you want to ready your travel amulet and replace uh, lining, for example. Uh, you can also replace water or whatever you feel like, uh, as long as it's not a weakness or Carnage or Kekai. Yeah. And by the way, uh, there on my PB chat uh, on screen, you can see Densbe. He's the co uh, current world record holder with a 121.31. Uh, he does a different route. It's not like a, it's. Uh, I don't really know the, the time difference, but it looks like it's like 10 minutes. Uh, but it might be less. Like. He does more YOLO strats with uh, leeching and stuff. Uh, I don't do so much, uh, so many YOLO strats. So here you want to go high stance, 
light attack into morning moon to kill that spider otherwise it's going to mess you up right here carnage go here dodge weakness dodge again and then do the same combo that you did before on the back of the spider here you can you know take uh, your time to like uh, while you're opening and the door you can also do other stuff or you can just split like i do right there hmm okay so you uh, you want to take that shrine it's not a pitch shrine it's actually needed and start dashing through the level you drop down here you use carnage you go right here you dodge Oh yeah, he, he, the spider is supposed to try to attack you right there, uh, but she didn't, so I missed the proper setup. Hmm. So yeah, you want to just go again. Oh yeah, some of the best uh, from Densme. <laughs> he actually told me like uh, yesterday or so uh, that uh, it was actually like 1.15. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, you want to use the uh, the travel amulet right there to exit. Uh, you can also die, but it's faster to not do that because otherwise you're just going to have to call the cattle, and you also have to go through the death uh, thing. Here you want to take, uh, you know. Yeah, I, there I I actually messed up. Uh, like I was too slow. But you want to go the the you know whatever you replaced in my case the lining uh you want to go a bit back for this fight okay so yeah uh lining carnage and kick high you open as soon as you skip the cutscene you want to use the sloth dodge and then uh, weakness uh, you can actually accidentally uh, weakness one leg there i don't apply the, the lining as fast as i should be like i should have done otherwise you can just uh, you know do what i do right here faster so yeah you just destroy her you're supposed to hit uh, her back or her butt uh, in order to make her uh, try to defend uh, the back and then you know they're just going to be attacking attacking the, uh, the the human body meanwhile mm. okay let me skip five seconds yeah okay so you want to go to the shrine again level up 21 magic yes there you to change water to fire uh yeah i forgot to do it <laughs> and then get uh, the second uh, kekai or you know the third and fourth where you want to uh you know go by okay so here uh there's uh, quite a few memes on this mission, but it's not uh, super bad. Mm. Anyways. You can just kick Kai right there. Should be safe. Safe enough. There I messed up so much. <laughs> I lost like uh, two seconds. Uh, by the way, I don't die anymore on my PB. So yeah. If I if I didn't die, I could have gotten a 124 or something. Would have been subtest, Phil McMahon. But yeah, I, I did die twice, uh, and I also lost like uh, more than one minute on one split because I messed up. But yeah, like uh, okay, like you saw right there, you shot the. Uh, the flies right there, like uh, the butterflies, yeah. And then you uh, switch to high stance uh, to break that with the morning moon. 
Mm, you you can do a Kekai right there, it's pretty optimal. Dodge her, she sometimes yeah, she likes to hit you right there. And then and then, then most of the times leads to you dying like a you know, and it's really really painful. So yeah, you kill the the butterflies right there. Uh you can do a Kekai right there. Uh, you want to lure uh, the skeleton to attack you, and then do morning moon right there. Mm. Otherwise, this one to interrupt your morning moon. Mm. You want to shot, uh, shoot the the butterflies right there, and kill the the crystal like the others. You can also do a. Uh, Instead of uh, you know morning moon, you can also do a random slice. Uh, but I find this uh, a bit better. Okay, kill the, that. Yeah, uh, there was a skip uh, on all patch uh, on this level, uh, but it got patched. This Macman. So yeah, uh, you want to go lightning, carnage, and Kekai. And then enter the level, and uh, as soon as you skip the cutscene, use the sloth, and then watch her. Here I got good RNG, so I don't move, and I use weakness, dash uh, to her, and then use that. If I had gotten like the weapon uh, throw, I could have uh, dodged that, and then use weakness, and then try to do the same thing that I'm doing right here. And uh, she can also do. Well, actually, let me let me go back a bit. So yeah. She can also just walk for your, forward, like, uh, you know, run to you, and that's really sketchy, but, you know, uh, do, I don't know, where you see fit in. So right there, as soon as I equip the, no, as soon as I debuff uh, uh, Yukiona with lightning, uh, I change to uh, fire, you know, if I'm safe enough. To do it and then i mm, you know do the same do the water sword uh, and then uh, right as soon as uh, you enter the you know you debuff her with confusion which is two elements in the same time by the way uh, you want to switch to mid stance and do light attacks because otherwise uh, uh, you're, go to, you're just going to miss every single attack with the water sword you could also do like a high stance uh, light attacks but I don't know, I feel like uh, the mid stands high. Uh, light attacks are faster to do. So yeah, here you usually get this uh, message right there. So you can do much. Sometimes you don't get it. Uh, I don't know how, you know, why that happens. Mm. So yeah, let me skip uh, some some seconds. Okay, so there. Uh, actually, let me go back a bit. Yeah. Okay, there. You go straight to the start date point. You can just uh, press back, you know, or circle, and do it. You change to water and wind, and then you uh, go to the next mission. You change to Water and Wind because uh, he is resistant to fire and lightning. And he's weak to Water and Wind. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, skip 5 seconds, I guess. Okay. Just dash uh, until this point right here. Change to Dual Source, uh, you know, buff with Garnage. You can also do the slot first instead of the Kekai first. That would actually be more optimal. And then uh, do random slice. Uh, doing morning moon, it's possible, I think, but uh, it's not safe. I have tried that and I died. And then every time I do it like this, I don't die. So I don't recommend using morning moon right there. Hmm. So yeah, you just dash through here. You just have Kekai here to, uh, you know, bait uh, the attack. 
otherwise you're just going to get uh, the bomb on your face while you're using the ladder and you know you're going to get down you dash through all of this uh this fox might actually hit you randomly and uh he can one shot you it's uh really really fun water carnage and kekai don't worry about the fox uh he's not supposed to follow you until this point keep the cats in uh, use the sloth as soon as you skip it and uh, lock on on the cat use weakness uh, low stance uh, light attacks dodge that attack if uh, he, he does that and as soon as you apply the the water she's go uh, like the cat is going to buff and then you switch to wind and do water sword till he dies mm, just like that mm, you get uh, you know the staff all there and if you get uh, good drops and you know a tool sort, you just change it to it. So yeah, next uh, split. Okay. Here, as you can see right here, oh, actually you couldn't see it because <laughs> I was too fast skipping it, but you get a, a hat and a body armor. Which uh, the body armor is not that important, but the hat it is. The body armor is basically a um, free armor that you can equip. But the hat is going to make you uh, cast uh, magic faster, like way faster. So you equip it, and uh, you you have it for the full run. But the thing is that uh, for that effect, you actually need uh, I equip extra stuff because uh, reasons. Uh, you need 10 body and 10 skill and I actually go for more body because I need uh, the extra skill points and you know the extra health also helps you switch uh, wind to lightning and proceed to the next region and this mission is uh, nightmare fuel basically a lot of memes happen in this run uh in this mission i mean this is where your uh, your run is going to uh you know take shape or die most of the times i feel like <laughs> you know along with the mibozu so yeah just touch uh, through here uh he's going to most of the times hit you block the second attack uh because you know Otherwise, you're going to die. Uh, heal, just dash through here, fall through this part. Here, take your chance and uh, learn uh, Spear uh, Flying Monkey, which is going to help you on one skip uh, in the next mission. Uh, normally, that uh, Yoki doesn't, doesn't hit you, but you know, memes uh, might happen. Uh, you know, uh, water sword, uh, that crystal, you should have enough damage to actually kill, kill it before you get interrupted. Headshot these guys with a matchlock. There I miss the headshot. I can, the hitbox for the headshot on that guy is funny. I don't really know what's up with it. Uh, then you slot the guy as soon as he appears. Actually, you start doing it uh, before that. Peach Strats is uh, basically uh, praying at the shrine right here, but you can just go uh, for the next part. But you know, I, I went for Peach. You lose like, I don't know, 20 seconds, maybe 15. You headshot the guy if you go for Peach Strats uh, with the cannon. Then you switch back to the uh, matchlock. If you don't do that, then you can just do uh, this part straight away, but it's... Uh, you know, scarier because you don't you don't have the sloth uh, for a certain part. Line, uh, do a proper line up right here and dash through everything. If you don't dash, you are not fast enough. You might fall, but you know, uh, he's going to hit you if you don't dash. So yeah, uh, here you want to block or dodge the the thing the. The arrow 
And I was supposed to slot the guy, but I got I didn't get a good RNG right there, like uh, the arrow and the um, and the movement of the jockey were not optimal, so I I wasn't able to do the sloth. So as you can see right there, I can just do it without the sloth. But okay, I also took a shortcut. Uh, you know, if you don't do the if you do the yolo, there's no reason to get the shortcut actually. Oh. Well, it might be a reason, but you know the thing is that you don't save as much. Uh, you might as well just go for it. But if you get uh, go pitch strats, uh, you only lose three seconds. So yeah, uh, let me go back a bit. Uh, here I switch to world source, both with uh, lining, carnage, and kekai, and then dash, 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 through the level. Open as soon as you skip the the cutscene, uh, use the sloth. Be careful with it. Because if you uh, take a bit too much, you you just let me go back for it. Uh, you may just miss it. Uh, then do weakness, water sword uh, till lightning debuff. Uh, change to water uh, talisman, water sword. I didn't do the debuff, but you know it's okay. And then you can finish up with uh, EI right there if uh, you get that RNG. Uh, he's most likely going to jump every single time. But yeah, if, uh, if you finish him with uh, EI, you can actually do that uh, while he's uh, jumping. And you're going to kill him. The fight is not hard, but. Um, you know, you you need to watch out. You need to watch out, but it's not hard. Okay, next up is, is uh, Ogres, but uh, first we're going to equip uh, Wind. You alternatively, you can use uh, Earth, but you need to learn it. And uh, I don't want to, uh, to use, uh, you know, to waste that time uh, learning the Earth. You deal more damage, uh, probably about even, but you know, like uh, it should be okay with uh, with wind. On uh, only missions with DLCs, uh, you actually want to use uh, Earth because uh, right at the end you're going to actually use it anyway. So, but not on any percent. On any percent, this is the only mission where you uh, would use Earth, so it's not really that worth it. Mm hmm. So I just dash through the level. And remember that Fly Monkey 2 that we learned on uh, the previous mission uh, for the, what is it called, uh, for the spear. Now uh, we're going to equip the spear and uh, do this skip. It's, uh, it's just practice. Just try to, like, it's really hard to explain, but, you know, just try to do it like that. I didn't do it perfectly, but it was pretty fast anyway, so... So yeah, I just uh, buff uh, with uh, water and carnage right there before dropping, and then use the uh, Kekai right there to, uh, to make the skeleton attack. Get the cutscene, sloth, weakness, water sword. Uh, make sure you're not going to get hit uh, while you change to wind. Just like that. And then water sword again. You really don't want to take too much time before applying the water. Uh, I mean the the wind debuff right there, because otherwise uh, you're going to miss the uh, discord or confusion. It's actually called confusion in the game. So yeah, and here you you want to you know put the a sword back right there. I think I didn't get it. Okay. Skip uh, this a bit. Okay. So next up is just um, a cutscene uh, mission. Like the only thing that you do here is skipping the, the cutscenes. So yeah, you press X and then you spam uh, options in the case of... Uh, of um, no, in my case. Basically, the, the skipping cutscene button. 
and you have to skip to cutscenes and that's it so i'm going to skip this okay so right here uh, you exit the mission and then just you just go straight to the next one that's it mm. so i think i didn't get the sword so i could uh, i had to equip it now like i didn't get the sword equipped on the previous mission i mean not the previous mission but you know on ogres right at the end if you hear that that's my stomach <laughs> doing weird stuff um so yeah i just equipped the, the first sword that i see Mm, you dash through here. Uh, you might want to grab this just in case you get hit, uh, so you don't just you know get the debuff uh, and uh, you can't really heal properly. You take more time and uh, it heals less, so you want to get the water. It, it takes like nothing, so it's worth it. Um, this is uh, this is a shrine right there. Um, you might actually want to get it uh, for pitch strats uh, but i just skip that shrine because it's uh, faster uh, here i go for uh, learning this right here that's basically let me go back a uh, moment so yeah you want to learn this this and this and you want the heaven heavenly flow which is the parry and we're going to use it for Okatsu and uh, Nobunaga Oda. Mm. So yeah, uh, KK right here, I like doing it. Pretty comfy to do. Uh, Carnage. Then just dash uh, to the door, change to dual source. Keep the cats in. Love the Honda. And then you do uh, the random slice on the crystals. Uh, you have to watch out. Actually, let me let me let me put the audio one moment. Let me go back and put the audio. Yeah. Oh fuck, fuck. Ah, uh, because I was selecting the fucking. Okay. That sound right there uh, that you heard. Uh, that was uh, Honda actually attacking with a boulder. It's safe on this crystal, but not on the next two. So you want to dodge that. Let me let me shut up in just a moment, and I don't remember if I got more boulders or not. But yeah, if you get uh, the boulder attack on one of the other crystals, you want to dodge it, otherwise it's going to one shot you. Yeah, right there. Okay, let me mute it again. So yeah, that's basically the fight. Uh, basically, a perfect fight right there. Uh, you don't want to get anything from a Honda because it's not uh, worth it. Um, like you don't get anything worth it. Uh, is that through all of this? You know, follow my path. Go up here. Open this door. Run, don't dash, because otherwise you may actually miss the the door. And mm. the Yoki is always going to miss you. Okay, let me stop right here. There's uh, if you follow this path and you drop down. You might go, uh, you're going to get uh, to a shrine, that's a pitch shrine. Uh, I recommend that uh, a lot, uh, you know, before you start optimizing everything and taking more yellow strats. But yeah, uh, I don't really need it, uh, so I don't do it. I may still die, actually, but you know, uh, it's okay. So here I just buff uh, with water, uh, Carnage and Gekai. I switch to mid stance. Uh, skip the cuts in sloth. Uh, hope that uh, the sloth uh, hits her, or she might actually uh, dodge it. 
and that's really really sketchy uh, and scary so yeah uh, that's another reason why you would get the pitch shrine she can actually dodge the debuffs uh, at the start not consistent okay and here i get the, the good attack which is the charge attack i parry it there's also another attack that you can parry uh it has you know uh it's just getting the timing then i do uh ei you know sign of the cross final blow and then i do more eis he's most of the times he's just going to do that and if I got it, uh, if I got a better dual sword right there on the previous uh, mission, I would have actually uh, killed her with, uh, you know, with the last uh, EI. I got, uh, you always get uh, dual swords here. I, at least I think uh, you always get one because I always get uh, a dual sword right there. They are pretty strong. Uh, so yeah. Let me go over to the next uh, mission. Here, you, uh, you want to wait a bit uh, because of the next region. So just take your time and, you know, learn a skill or or you will feel like uh, doing right there. Uh, at least on PS4. I don't know how it's going to be on PC, but, you know, if you just go straight to the next region, you're going to have to wait a bit. By the way, here I'm switching between uh, PB and uh, some of best comparison. That's why you, you just you see the split changing. Um, yeah, here you just need to skip some cutscenes for this region. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you want to go straight to Immortal Flame. There's actually a cutscene right here that you need to skip. Right, right there. So yeah, you just uh, dash through the level. Uh, get this water, Kekai. You can save the Kekai for a bit later, but I like doing it right, right there. Um, get more water, and the water helps you, you know, it basically uh, nullifies the fire damage from uh, you know the environment. Follow my path right here. Dash through everything. Hug the uh, the wall right here, but uh, right past the wheel monk. Go to the left because if you just go straight, you're going to fall. There's a hole right there. So yeah, and here you use the Kekai. You should have enough HP to to just dash through that, and then you know you heal just in case. You don't really need it, but uh, you know uh, this uh, coming thing is catchy. You have that. Uh, let me go over it uh, again. You have the the wall to the right, and as soon as it spawns, you change to the left uh, to to avoid the the wheel monk. Mm. So here uh, you get the shrine, ready you to change wind to lightning, and equip uh, water, equip uh, the shuriken, and equip the water again. That's uh, basically to speed things up. Uh, that's faster to do. Do it like that. So yeah, you, you need lightning and. Uh, and shuriken right here. It's not. It's not like a uh, lightning does more damage or water doesn't do as much damage. It's because uh, you want the extra uh, the debuff or from the lightning because it uh, makes the uh, psycha uh, more more slow. You know, slower. So yeah, I just follow my path. You can get hit here, but you shouldn't die anyways. Uh, even with that amount of HP. Uh, into dual source, uh, lightning, carnage, Gekai. Open the door, skip the cutscene, sloth, block, shuriken, EI, final blow, weakness, shuriken, EI, final blow, 
And you can actually kill him right there, but I mess up. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have done the, the AI right there. You can actually do uh, like a high stance attacks. And you can actually kill him right there. Probably. Like it depends on RNG, but that's basically the idea of the fight. Abusing the EI and the final blow and the, on the Shuriken. So yeah, that's basically it. You get Suzaku, which is going to be important on the Demon King rebuild at the start of the mission. So you may have noticed that I didn't level up uh, ever since uh, after the cats. I'm going to level up now. 21 spirit. Rest on body. And uh, yeah, rest on body. Yeah. And then I go uh, straight to, to Sekigahara mission. <clears throat> and then I, uh, because uh, I like, you know, I think it's, well, it, it is actually faster, but the thing is that, you know, you can also do it on the, on the shrine right there. Where right here, I like, uh, I like using Kekai at the start and changing to, and the shuriken to water. Let's see if I do it on my PV. I think I do. No? Do it differently? No, yeah, I do it here. So yeah, like that. Uh, set a shortcut. There. It's faster than the, doing it in the shrine. That's why I do it uh, that way on, on the previous mission. So here comes a pretty easy fight, actually. But, uh, you know... Uh, it needs some positioning and stuff uh, for the second part. So yeah, Lightning, uh, Carnage, and uh, Kekai. Give the cats in, Sloth, Weakness, Dodge, EI, another EI. And then as soon as he's going to buff right here, I didn't get the proper uh, proper um, positioning or RNG, but you know, the idea is basically do the water sword on his walk. So I got uh, actually let me go back. I got a uh, Korasumaru and Nukemaru. Uh, and yeah, I got uh, change to attack spirit, which is the one that you want. Uh, you you can also not get that one, but you know if you get it, uh, then use it. Let me go to to the bathroom real quick, cause you know I'm pissing myself right now. Be right back. Oh, one moment. Okay, I'm back again. Let's continue. So I just dash through here, uh, hug the, you know, hug the left a bit. Uh, that Olachi guy uh, can hit you, uh, but you know it should be okay. Water, carnage. Uh, okay, Th there's also a shrine, uh, like right. Right here to the right, like if you go forward and to the right, there's a shrine right there. You can get that uh, as a pitch shrine. But yeah, uh, you want to switch to uh, those source, uh, water, carnage, and kekai. 
enter the fight, skip the cutscene, bluff weakness, dodge the first attack, EI, 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 EI. And you, you, you know, uh, depending on RNG, you may have a slightly different fight right there. But that's the idea of the of the fight, basically. You want to basically dodge the the first attack, go to her back, uh, to his back, and uh, start doing EIs, and you should be okay. Uh, watch out for when he does the living weapon, though. Like uh, he might screw you over. Uh, yeah, you need to watch out. So here uh, we got Karaishi. Actually, let me go back a bit. We got Karaishi, so we're going to change the Garden Spirit to Karaishi, which is better for our run right here. And then I want to get uh, Lichin Talismans in order to get a faster fight. And yeah, I equip it. And then you go to the start of Evil uh, next mission. Hmm, let me skip this uh, one moment. Okay, there's a cutscene right here that you need to skip. And just dash, 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 dash. So yeah, you, you drop down here, change to dual source, get the cutscene. Uh, weakness, uh, you know, you can do water or or lightning. I recommend lightning, but you know, sometimes I do water for some reason. Because you don't apply the debuff uh, to the fit. But yeah, uh, you go to the fit, uh, wait for it to stop, or right before it stops, you can also start attacking. Uh, and then you do uh, lightning, uh, kekai, then uh, leeching. Weakness, and then you start doing the water sword right there. As you can see, I'm healing with uh, while doing the skill because of Karajishi. You should be able to two shot uh, Gashal Kuro actually uh, with two um, with two water swords, but it, it depends on how strong is your uh, your dual sword. But it's okay. But yeah, basically that. Um, let's continue. Next split or next part. So here, uh, then again, uh, you have time to do stuff before changing uh, regions. Uh, I messed around too much, I think, here. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Next region, there's like some cutscenes you need to skip here also, I think. I think. Yeah, and then you go straight to the next mission. Okay. Start dashing. There's another way of doing this uh, mission, uh, but you know, I don't really like the other path. Uh, you need to heal and stuff. Uh, apparently, it's slightly faster, but you know, uh, it's okay. This one's fast enough. Don't dash here. I actually died one time here uh, on a deathless run until the point. And, uh, you know, I died because of the spawn uh, of the enemy. So, yeah, don't dash uh, there. And also here, you need to wait a bit for the enemy to spawn before continuing. That's one mechanic that I don't really like about this game. Like uh, when, when a Yokai spawns on, on, on the game. Uh, you know, if you just happen to be there dashing, you just get knocked. 
or, or staggered and I don't like that uh, mechanic so yeah mm -hmm. there's a pitch shrine right there I don't need it like if, if I go to the left instead of uh, going to the stairs mm. switch to dual source water weapon, kekai get, get past this guy open the door leeching talisman right here open the door Get the cats in, uh, sloth, uh, lock on, and weakness. Dash to him really fast. And water sword until he dies. I got hit right there, but I have enough health so I can just tank it. Mm, that's why I, I level up uh, body instead of uh, heal, for example, to get more damage. In order for, uh, if that happens, uh, I can just continue. But yeah, that's basically the hang of it. <clears throat> Next mission. Okay. You go straight to the next mission. Just follow my path right here. <clears throat> oh. You can skip that, uh, dashing through that place. Uh, it's a bit tricky to do. Uh, sometimes I, I don't get it for no reason. Or, you know, like it's. It looks like it's pretty precise, I don't know. But yeah, you can just uh, skip opening the door. It's safer and, fa and faster, so it's good. Um, here, are like uh, as soon as I enter this place, I well, actually, I didn't do it here, but I like doing the kekai to lure the uh, the cannon shot from the skelly, so I can just uh, you know go. Mm, yeah, I just dash through everything, hug the wall to the right uh, before the boulder, so you don't die. And yeah, just dash through on the boulder to the right. Hmm. Right here, I like doing this. Uh, just, you know, the intention, uh, my intention is to sloth the other guy. But the thing is that just by uh, trying to do sloth right there, I lure the jockey anyways. So it actually works. Hmm. He can kill you randomly if uh, you don't do it. Water, Kekai, Leeching, Midstance, uh, Skid the Cats in, Sloth, Weakness, Sloth, Weakness, then go to him, Light Attack with the Midstance, EI, you can skip the second EI, I just did it because reasons, you can just go straight to the Water Sword right there, and you just kill him, it's really really fast and easy. I do the first attack at the beginning because uh, it makes the fight uh, more consistent, basically. And it's like actually faster. If you, I, because I, I can get different attacks at the beginning and it's really slow. So yeah, if you do the mid stand slide attack right there, you can just uh, do an EI right away. And then the, the water sword and he's going to die. So it's really good. Hmm. So right now I do the moment. I do the. I think this is the longest menuing in the game, or in the run. So yeah, I level up a uh, body right here and magic, magic to twenty nine, which is the uh, as much as uh, as you need. And then I like uh, leveling up up until twenty body, but you can level up more if you want to go more pitch. Then here you want to get uh, these ones like the. Um, the moment talisman right there and the uh, stent uh, living weapon usage and uh, you also uh, get the extra water remove the leeching put carnage both carnages actually and get the second garden spirit uh, right there i actually forget uh, about doing it but uh, i need to also uh, 
equip the second weakness and I changed to Suzaku right there because we are wanting to use it right now. Hmm. We're going to use uh, Suzaku. So yeah, there was a captain right here that you need to skip. Hmm. Follow my path. Dash through this. Uh, the fox are really, really scary. They can just randomly kill you. Uh, dash through it. Remember to, you know, to stop before spawning your guys. Here you want to take your, uh, you know, chance and use that. You should actually activate the living weapon with that. Uh, sometimes I don't uh, activate it for some reason. I mean, not activate it, but ready. Yeah. Sometimes uh, it's not enough. You have a soul stone right there. Yo, Matrix. Uh, I'm just doing a tutorial uh, over my PB. Yeah, welcome, Matrix. Uh, so yeah, you shoot that guy. Uh, you actually want to do Carnage instead of Gekai, but it's okay. So that's what, and because I didn't do uh, Carnage, I didn't do that much damage and I didn't kill him in one go. Uh, kill this uh, skeleton because it is annoying. Uh, water, Carnage, and Kekai again. Uh, Moment Talisman, Weakness. I think uh, right now I noticed that I didn't equip the, the Weakness. So you can just uh, go like uh, really YOLO on this part actually, because you get this uh, living weapon. With Suzaku, which is really, 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 really strong. I think I, I actually deplete. Yeah, here I use the special and it depletes my living weapon. But if I didn't do that, uh, I would have actually continued with it. You can tank a lot. Yeah, thank you, Matrix. This uh, baby was for uh, from like seven days ago, I think. So yeah, it's basically pretty easy with uh, Suzaku. Uh. I mean, you can just you you can't just go super reckless. There's some you know strategies that you need to do, but you know you you get the hang of it with that. Um, yeah, I say it a lot of time right there. And here I need to change to Karishi. Karishi. I I make offerings. Oh yeah, because I forgot to make offerings before. Yeah, I was supposed to make offerings before entering the mission and before leveling up. So yeah, here I go for skill, change. And here I, yeah, I get the weakness. And I don't change to Karajishi because, I don't know, reasons. I was supposed to to change to Karajishi right there. Uh, Yo, Bini, what's up? Uh, I'm not doing an actual run, I'm doing a, a tutorial uh, over my PB. Hmm. So, yeah, I think I noticed right now. Yeah, right now I noticed that I didn't get the fucking. Uh, Karajishi. I was supposed to change to Karajishi, so, yeah. That's what happens when you don't get Karajishi. And that's why I'm going to lose like a, a minute or something. Because I forgot uh, to change to, um, uh, you know, to use the weakness, to equip the weakness. And then I forgot to, yeah, thank you, Bini. Thank you. Uh, and then I forgot to also change to Karajishi. So that was a really, really slow four bosses. And I actually used the, uh, a travel amulet that I was supposed to use uh, after defeating uh, Onryoki. Because it's faster. But yeah, uh, the idea right here is uh, the same. You do sloth. 
then you do the Karayishi with, you know, the moment talisman with the Karayishi. On low stance, uh, uh, light attacks for the water debuff. And then you just, you know, go for a uh, water sword. And you kill her. Uh, now, uh, next up is Nue. Uh, this fight is uh, normally not a problem, but, you know, can be problematic. Water Carnage. As soon as it appears, uh, Sloth, Weakness. Uh, Kekai, go to his side, uh, Water Sword, into EI if uh, you're not hitting everything. Like normally you would just be able to just uh, keep going with the Water Sword, but uh, I didn't do a proper uh, positioning, so I, I missed a lot of hits right there, and I had to finish up with the uh, with some EIs. So yeah, here, uh, water, you do that, carnage, weakness, uh, not in that order, okay, you can just avoid that, that order, actually. Uh, you're supposed to buff first before he spawns, but it's okay. So here I would normally use the travel amulet and then go straight to Oda Nobunaga, but I didn't do that. <laughs> Because, you know, I forgot about Karajishi and I didn't notice until I, you know, started the fight with uh, Jirugumo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Vinny. So yeah, here you use uh, Water, uh, Carnage, Kekai. You dash until the fight. Uh, you switch to mid-sense before entering the fight. Sloth, weakness. Actually, I did the other way around. Because I, I think I didn't get... Yeah, I didn't get the sloth. You're supposed to use the sloth. Then you parry here. Yeah, because I didn't get, use the travel amulet and I didn't rest at the shrine. So yeah, you do... Um... Okay, let me go back a bit. Parry. That I missed right there because I didn't use sloth. Parry. Then you use the... Water, uh, I mean, uh, EI, final blow, mid stance, slight attacks, or high attacks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then finish it. It's really easy to fight after that, uh, parry. So here I like uh, going here, uh, make offerings of everything. Yes, level up. Get uh, more skill for more damage. Then ready you to unequip the Warden Spirit, equip the Lightning, and then go for the next boss. Water, Carnage, Kekai. You saw that uh, a lot of times today. Skip, uh, Sloth, Weakness, EI Spam, that I miss, because, you know, reasons. Yeah, that was terrible. You can just EI Spam, by the way. Like, it's not much to worry about. You get some iframes when, when, like, when moving like that. It's really, really annoying. Oh yeah, uh, here, <laughs> I, I want to, you see me, like, right here, that movement that I did <laughs> on my cam, that was actually a fly uh, annoying me a lot. So yeah, basically the strat is to EI yeah, spam, but he can troll you a lot right there. So here, uh, I like, uh, Equipping the sacred brush right here uh, instead of uh, you know lightning. Did I got hit instead of you know dodging? <laughs> it's okay though. So yeah, you want to witness the, all the snakes before attacking. 
and then use the um, random slice. Did I use uh, Carnage and Kekai? Weakness, bait the attack, uh, random slice. Weakness, wait for, uh, for it to, to go down, and then random slice. Weakness again, I think I used a secret brush right there, yeah. You, uh, the secret brushes are basically to refill your weakness right here. Water sword, I mean, uh, random slice. <laughs> there I got hit by the lightning debuff, which is uh, the worst one, in my opinion, because you get slowed down so much. I used another brush because I missed uh, uh, weakness right there, so I needed two more. This is basically this, like, you know, some attacks, uh, basically all the attacks is set for the projectiles. Uh, you can just punish it with uh, the random slice. So, uh, two snakes left. You basically have uh, enough witnesses for, you know, uh, one more snake, apart from the ones that are right here. As soon as... Uh, and the final snake does the, uh, you know, opens uh, its mouth right here. Like let me let me let me actually show you, right here. That uh, that uh, animation you can just do the weakness right there. And that attack is actually really good because it makes me uh, able to just kill Yamato Norochi right there. So you switch to uh, katana, breast triangle. And then you change uh, that to lining, you know, you put back lining where where the secret brush was. And yeah, you skip the cuts in, uh, you dash here, you get uh, basically the Ginshu hand cannon and, uh, and the dual source. Everything else is basically filler at this point for the run. Uh, but yeah, good enough. Like my run was pretty good, uh, except for uh, four bosses and uh, the two deaths on Umibosu and uh, the dojo mission. If not for that, I would have gotten a sub uh, 124 for sure. Mm. But yeah, you go to the next mission. You get a soul stone, uh, like a big soul stone on the previous mission, like at the end, and we're going to use it right, right now. So yeah, uh, large soul stone right there. Use it. Dash. Right next to this guy, use the limit weapon. Open the door and uh, change the your weapons to the you know the new dual sword and the divine one and the uh, ginshu hand cannon if you don't have time right there uh, you can also do it here like you have a bit of time but you should have enough time yeah you just run through all this part Hmm. You you don't want to dash uh, on the on the you know spiral stair, uh, staircases because uh, it's really really catchy to do. So like there, I try and I don't really advance that much. <laughs> I saw my mighty garden spirit to aid me in opening the door. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. You basically summon the the living weapon to to tank everything while you open the door. So yeah, there I like doing the carnage just in case. Change to cannon. Prepare the special ammo actually. I just see right there. I change to the red one. Aim for the head. As soon as he he moves a bit, shoot. 
them here. I actually shoot uh, right as he was going to move. And the same thing here. And I actually missed the shot, but it's okay, because uh, br I break the, the guard and I get more damage. Do I cloud controller for this game? Uh, no, I, I mean, I don't define it as a cloud uh, grip, but you'll see, you'll see, one moment. So here, uh, you do uh, lining, carnage, kick high, you enter the fight. You can get a really bad attack uh, that you need to dodge at the start. But yeah, skip, uh, cloth, weakness. This is a good attack. You can just, you know, I, I actually me messed up right there. <laughs> but it's okay. You can just do that. I messed up again. What the fuck did I do on my PV right here? So bad. So there I summoned the uh, Karyushi right there because uh, I was too bad. And I finish it up with that. <laughs> but you're supposed to basically just do two water swords, one with uh, lining and the other one with water. Mm. And it's good enough. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you, st you stop the timer for the. right there. As soon as the screen goes black. So yeah, that's that's it. That's the that's the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna actually change the scenes. Uh, there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let me let me actually show you what uh, what kind of uh, grip I actually use. Where's my there? Okay. Mm hmm. So, what I do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually move the cam right here. Uh, one moment. What I do when I, when I do uh, speed runs, or actually, I, when I play the game, basically, and I want to run and stuff like that. Uh, let me. Uh, position, no, actually properties, uh, there, uh, and also horizontally, right there, yeah, okay, so what I do, I normally, like, I normally just play like this, like, uh, you know, uh, if I don't need it, I don't need it, but when I'm running, uh, I actually, what I, what I do, is I do this, no, I hold forward, and if I'm dashing with the X right here, I just change the camera with this, just like that. And then uh, if I want to open the menu, I just need to do it uh, with this finger. That, like, let me actually, let me actually show you a bit. Uh, let me take a claw. That guy uses the same claw, uh, like, like the same grip. Okay, let me let me actually change the uh, my headset, uh, or you know my kind of. I mean, uh, I never saw anyone do this like this. Uh, I like the only one who who does it, uh, as far as I know. But yeah, maybe Taka does it like that. So yeah. Let me load, uh, like, I don't know, something. Uh, let me load my main save file, actually. Let's see if I get uh, the elusive... Um, what is it called? Uh, Twilight mission. Oops. Okay, let's see. Do I get the toilet mission? Nope, nothing. Okay, let me just do a random, a random mission. Um. Oh, nice. Okay, let me. What mission should I do? Um. 
<laughs> sorry. Uh, one that has a, like a, a lot of running through. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know which one. Hmm, it's like uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is this good enough? So yeah, let me let me show you how, how I do this thing. Mm. Perfect, okay. Let me check if I have... Uh... Okay, I have the Dragon Sword, so it's fine. So yeah, basically I do this. And then if I want to menu or some shit while I'm doing this, like I do that. I basically do that. I picked a mission that's mainly just running through, so. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I have the insta buffs instead of... <laughs> No, it's not that tricky, actually. Uh, I, I like basically I just tap the the cam, which is the reason why I only use one of the uh, grips for you know for what is it called uh, for the joysticks. Car mission. <laughs> so yeah, basically I do that. Uh, then that's about it. Like uh, I don't do anything else, like special or anything. I used to uh, when I back when I was playing uh, Monster Hunter in uh, in PSP. I used to do it like this. You know, change the camera like this. You no, know, uh, and do everything else. But when I actually tried the... Um, let me actually change to the way of the demo again. When I actually tried uh, the demo on... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Barcelona Against World? Uh, I actually was using the, in the same grid that I was doing right now. So yeah, basically I, I use this uh, red uh, grip right here, Fuck. on the right only, because uh, as you can see right here, it basically um, slides, and I don't like that on this on this one, because I mainly uh, use this, you know, I, I put my, my thumb right uh, behind it. Because it's ma mainly just to go forward and you know maybe turn a bit, so it's good enough right there. Uh, um, so yeah, I like doing it uh, here because uh, I just need to to do this basically. I, I don't need to do anything else. And you know it's it's good enough. It basically gives me access to every fucking thing in the in the controller. Uh, yeah, I was I was doing it like this when I, back when I was doing um, Bloodborne uh, speedruns. So basically, it gives me access to every single uh, button. You know, like I, I have access to every single button with this with this grip. I can do uh, everything at the same time. This is why I like it, and this is why also this is also why I don't like. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is why I also don't like uh, the controllers that uh, they use on Nintendo or or uh, Microsoft. 
because I can do the claw right. Uh, like I I can do the grip like this. Like I can I can just do that. Well, I, you know the the thing that I just saw. It's basically the the analog uh, stick on the left is uh, on the other controllers is like right right here and the D-pad is right here. And I can do this grip. So this grip only works with uh, DualShock. Is why I don't like uh, the other ones. So yeah, thank you for stopping by. I need to go and eat, otherwise I'm going to be late. But yeah, thank you for stopping by, and I'll upload um, the tutorial uh, shortly, uh, whenever I'm, you know, whenever uh, I can. And you know, I hope you you like it. Around uh, maybe uh, tonight, uh, maybe I'll do more runs, like actual runs instead of tutorial runs. So yeah, bye bye. I'm gonna host someone. Let's see who can I host.